happy 4th of July and happy Atheist Church. Uh, today I want to talk about Calvin and Hobbes, a subject near and dear to my heart, one of my favorite comic strips of all time. Now when Calvin started showing up on back windows of pickup trucks, pissing on various things, I was not happy. Calvin peeing on this, Calvin peeing on that, and especially with stupid things like Calvin on a Chevy pissing on a Toyota or vice versa, uh, Calvin pissing on one sporting team or the other. Calvin didn't care about any sports but Calvin ball, damn it. Uh, okay, I will admit Calvin in a sombrero pissing on Lamigre made me giggle the first time I saw it. But then I got really upset when I saw Calvin praying at the cross. I guess he was asking forgiveness for all those things he peed on, but uh, I don't think that Calvin was the pray at the cross type. And uh, Bill Watterson, if you're wondering what side of the fence he was on, um, I suspect he wasn't really on the uh, bow down in subservience to the cross side of things. Evidence? Calvin playing with Hobbes here. This whole Santa Claus thing just doesn't make sense. Why all the secrecy? Why all the mystery? If the guy exists, how come he doesn't ever show himself and prove it? And if he doesn't exist, what's the meaning of all this? Hobbes saying, I don't know, isn't this a religious holiday? And Calvin answering, yeah, but actually, I've got the same questions about God. This ran in mainstream newspapers. This is great! <laughs> you see strips like The Wizard of Id, which often sneak Christian religion into the comic strips. And I've always said, what if someone did this with a Muslim message, a Hindu message? Uh, Buddhism, maybe they'd get away with it if they cloaked it well enough, which is pretty easy to do with Buddhism. But uh, and an atheist or a skeptic message? Never! Well, it's been done. So, uh, hats off to Calvin and Hobbes, who I hope will soon stop being made to, to pray at the cross and to piss on things. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful comic. If you're not already a fan, I highly, highly recommend you check it out. Uh, I think that if, if you need a reminder of how to enjoy life, even with all the uh, ugliness inherent in it, uh, something that's not saccharine and, and, you know, still thoughtful, Calvin and Hobbes, that's, that's where to go. Uh, other strips that have presented skepticism in the newspaper, um, Gary Larson and his Far Side obviously presented science in a way that was funny in the comic strip pages. Uh, did they represent, did he represent skepticism? Well, one of my favorite strips, Creationism Explained. He seems to realize that creationism is pretty darn loony. That's some good skepticism right there. And, uh, and then we come to the, the king of putting straight out atheism and skepticism into the uh, newspapers, and that would be Bizarro by Dan Perraro, which I highly recommend anyone that's not familiar with, check out. And uh, one last comic strip I'll refer you to today, one that hasn't made it into the funny pages of the newspaper, mostly because Cheese doesn't update it frequently enough. That's right, Cheese, the atheist comedian that you saw on the uh, atheist comic video I put up a while back, has a fantastic comic strip with uh, skepticism often represented in it quite nicely. Please check out Badly Drawn Robots, one of the best comics that I've seen on the internets. Badly Drawn Robots by Cheese. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, let me take a minute to thank, sincerely, King Heathen for giving me, I think it's the Transitional Species Award. Um, sent well over 100 subscribers my way and, and counting. They're still rolling in. And uh, hi to all the new subscribers. With this many new subscribers, I think it might be time to do another uh, question and answer video. So post your questions below and I'll try and tackle them in the next couple of weeks. Please visit me at atheistcomedian.com and I've gotten a lot of requests for more stand-up videos. I just shot a three-camera shoot for my DVD release and you will be the first people to see clips from that right here on my uh, YouTube channel. So thank you so much. We'll see you next week for Atheist Church.